Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, I am very excited to film for you guys. It is going to be um, how to make your own uh, DIY rollerball for, specifically I'm going to cover what I use for headache relief. Um, you might have seen these kind of roller balls before in different stores, but you can apply them on the wrist, on the temples, back of the neck, and it is just a really easy uh, delivery form for getting the benefits of essential oils and it makes application easy throughout the day. And yeah, so if you want to learn how to dilute essential oils properly for your topical application and learn what essential oils I use for headache relief, um, then just keep watching. Okay, so to start things off, I am going to cover how we dilute essential oils. Um, and I am just going to do a little demo here on my notebook to kind of show you how that breakdown is and what the safe range is for topical application. Okay, I just zoomed you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so basically, when you're doing topical application, we got to know the percentage of the essential oils within a formulation. So... The rule of thumb is really that one drop of essential oil equals 0.05 mils, which also means that 20 drops equals one mil. Now this is a really important thing to remember and we're going to use this in a lot of our calculations. So the bottles that I have, these bottles right here, it's just a glass roller bottle. It is 10 mil. So our total volume is 10 mil. And depending on how often you're going to reapply the essential oil, that will determine whether you want to be at 1% or 5%. 1% is really safe if you're applying it to really sensitive skin, such as the face, and you're covering large amounts of area. If you're just using this roller bottle, roller, yeah, roller bottle on a small area of your skin, such as the inside of the wrists, you're just going to apply it a little bit to the neck, more like how you would apply a perfume, then you can be more in this 5% range. So I'm going to formulate at the 5% range. So we're just gonna do some basic math here. So 5% is five over 100. So we need to know how many mils of essential oil we can have in our 10 mil bottle. And so we're gonna solve this equation for X. So just doing some basic math, X equals 10 times 5 over 100. So x equals 0 0.5. Now we're going to use our other equation that tells us how many drops because we're not going to be able to really measure out half a mil to put into our bottle. That's a little bit tricky. Um, and when you're using really large volumes of essential oils, you definitely want to do it um, by volume. But, but when we're just doing such a small amount like 10 mils, we're going to do it by drops. So you can use just like straight up math again if you want to. Um, but I'm going to just use this conversion where I know that 20 drops is one mil. So if I need half a mil of essential oils, I'm gonna need 10 drops. And just the way that I got there is multiplying this 20 drops by how many mil I need, because 20 drops is one mil, half a mil, 10 drops. So that's why this equation right here can be really helpful. It's kind of like a cheater one. You can just also use basic math using this equation and find out how many drops that you need. Um, so again, if I was using a five mil bottle, I would be using five drops to reach my 5%, but I'm using a 10 mil bottle, so I'm gonna be using 10 drops to reach my 5%. That's another kind of quick trick. If you're making a 5% solution, the number of mil is going to equal the number of drops. 
So that makes it really easy. You can also use this equation if you want to make a 1% solution and then just divide it by 5, if that makes sense. If you guys do have more questions about how to dilute essential oils, just let me know. Um, kind of the more you go through it and the more you just kind of practice going through this equation, um, the easier it can become. But there's kind of those cheater ones, like the 20 drops equals 1 mil, and then the number of mil equals the number of drops for a 5% solution. So that's kind of just the basics of how I'm gonna be diluting these essential oils. Okay, so now let's talk about the blend that I'm gonna make. So the essential oils that I've chosen here are both founded in the practice of aromatherapy that are typically used for headache relief. They're also approved for headache relief on the Natural Health Product Directory monograph for essential oils. Um, so I will link that document in the description box below, but essentially it covers kind of the approved essential oils by Health Canada and their specific uses. Um, this by no means is going to be a natural health product. It's not going to be registered. I'm not going to sell it. This is just for personal use, but I just want to know, I just want to let you guys know where this information comes from. It is both from uh, traditional aromatherapy practices and then also approved uses from Health Canada. So my blend is going to mostly be composed of spearmint, um, which I like a little bit more than peppermint. I find peppermint a little bit too stimulating, so I wouldn't be able to use it before bed, but spearmint I've had less issues with as far as sleep, um, followed by uh, laurel leaf, or this is a type of bay leaf, so it's called bay laurel, um, and then angelica root and black pepper. So I'm using four drops of the spearmint, two of the bay laurel, two of angelica, and two of black pepper for a total of 10 drops within my blend. I am going to leave all of the uh, Latin plant names for these because in aromatherapy and when you're using essential oils, there is a lot of different um, I mean, a lot of different Latin names will have the same common name, especially across different kind of borders and geographical areas. So it is important to always go by the Latin name um, of the plant and not its common name because those can just kind of be misused often. Okay, now let's talk about what I'm using. So I typically just get my roller bottles from Amazon. There's a ton of different suppliers. This one is Vivaplex. Uh, they are not expensive and you can reuse them. So you can actually, so it comes with the bottle. It also comes with the roller stopper, this guy, and then it'll come with a lid. Um, I do prefer glass. You can get ones that are tinted glass, like they'll be like an amber or a blue, which is actually better for essential oils because I typically store these um, in a cupboard. I'm not really concerned about exposure to light, and when they're out, they're usually in a purse and just not really getting exposed to light all the time. So um, I just got the clear ones a while ago, and that's what I have right now, but you can get different colored ones, and it is better to have a darker bottle with essential oils. Okay, so, oh, and as I was saying before, you can reuse these. So once you've used the entire blend, you just simply pop that out. You can use a coin or you can use your nail and then you can um, just keep reusing them. So they're completely reusable, which I love. You don't have to ever toss them out. So when you're making an essential oil blend, you do want to add the essential oils first, give it all a bit of a swirl and then add your carrier oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys how I do that right now. So I'm starting off with the spearmint, and I did get these from New Directions Aromatics. Uh, there's a ton of places where you can buy essential oils. I like this one because they have a huge range, but the only thing is they are a wholesale supplier, so I think you have to spend about $100 um, with every purchase, but uh, trust me, it's easy to do if you want to expand your essential oil collection. Uh, they also have a lot of great carrier oils and uh, things like butters and waxes and uh, floral waters, if you do want to get into the DIY space, it's a great supplier when you're just starting out. Okay, so I'm adding four drops. One, two, three, four. And you really don't want to overdo it because that's why we did all our math to figure out exactly how many drops of each oil we're adding. Next, I am going to be adding the laurel leaf essential oil, and this is just two drops. And I do like to swirl um, the essential oils each time I add them. 
The order that you add essential oils actually will affect the outcome of the product, so and it'll affect, affect the scent. So you can play around with the order that you're adding them. So next is black pepper. I'll give that a swirl, followed by angelica root. So this is a much thicker oil and it is taking a long time to come out. What I could have done is put it in a bowl of warm water to make it a little bit more um, liquid, but I'm just waiting. <laughs> and you will notice that one was a bit more colored. It actually is a CO2 um, extract. It's not a traditional steam distilled, which means um, it's more like the actual scent that comes exactly from the plant. Okay, so that is all of our essential oils in the bottom there. That is 10 drops of essential oil in a 10 ml bottle. So what I do also like about this company that I purchased these bottles from is they come with these plastic droppers um, and this can really help you to get the oil out of whatever container it's in into here. Sometimes, you know, especially if you're just using like a fractionated coconut oil or a grapeseed oil that comes from the grocery store, it has a pretty large um, cap and so it can be helpful just to dip in and then um, put it actually just in like that. I don't have any carrier oils right now, um, so I'm actually just going to use my Altilis Beauty Serum, which is a little bit wasteful, but I have this huge bottle and I'm a little bit too lazy to go out and purchase like a fractionated coconut oil or a grapeseed oil at this time. So I'm just going to add this in here and then we add the cap. I want to make sure it's all the way in. Add the other cap. And ta-da, we've made our roller ball. Bottle, roller bottle. So once you've got it all closed up, um, we do need to mix it still. So you want to invert it about 10 to 20 times. You don't want to shake it because that'll help oxidize the essential oils. And we want to minimize that as much as possible. So just gently inverting it um, about 10 to 20 times. Now, best spots for application for this blend specifically because it is targeted towards headache. You can do it on the wrists, smells nice. You can do it on your temples. Here it can be beneficial. Sometimes if I'm just going to bed, I will just like roll it on my entire forehead or uh, back of the neck is really nice as well. I do just want to mention that if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, uh, taking any kind of medication whatsoever, always consult your physician before using essential oils. Uh, they can be contraindicative and can interfere with certain medications and there's a lot of essential oils that are not good during pregnancy or when you're breastfeeding. So if that applies to you, um, just make sure you consult your physician before using any essential oils. But that's pretty much as complicated as it gets for topical application in a roller bottle form. It is such a great method of delivery and it's really nice for reapplication throughout the day. Very simple, uh, very safe, but very effective method. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you do want to if you want me to do a video that's basically just a rundown of a bunch of different essential oils that I use regularly and for what I use them for, um, there's some that I use for kind of mood enhancement, there's some that I use for a better night's sleep, um, there's some that I use for um, kind of that are energizing for additional energy when I feel like I need it. So if you do want me to just kind of run through my basic uh, toolkit of essential oils and how I use them, um, yeah, just let me know. But yeah, I just wanted to start off this DIY series with just kind of a really basic um, really basic easy one that pretty much anyone can do at home uh, without any additional equipment or um, you know any ingredients that are really hard to get I mean you can get everything that you need for this at a grocery store and also if you don't have these roller bottles like don't worry about it even if you have like an old facial oil bottle that's like 30 mil again just use that equation to figure out how much essential oils you need it the ones that are in dropper bottles are like the eye droppers can be really good um, again just try not to expose that product to a lot of oxygen because essential oils do oxidize very easily and that's when they can become um, quite irritating and sensitizing so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a ton more DIYs over the next couple months and really showing you guys why I love uh, this industry so much and how I got started with some pretty easy but really fun formulations to make at home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.